So first off, happy 4th of July for those of you who celebrate. And welcome to another Thursday. I keep wanting to say Friday. I know it's been like a half a year, but to another Thursday on The Pagan Perspective. I'm Yaka, and this week we have been talking about symbols, um, specifically symbols on clothing. And we've actually talked a lot of our topics this year have had to do with symbols. So I'll go ahead. Um, the topic is, of course, posted below, but I'll read it for you. Um, and it's Juniper and Gold writes something I've honestly been meaning to bring up specifically to the pagan perspective is of the current mainstream appropriation of religious pagan occult symbols, especially in clothing. Like how a lot of edgier clothing companies have moved from, excuse me, have moved on from giant cross t-shirts to pentagram, pentacle earrings. The witchy style has been in for a while now. But I think it takes it to a new level when people are wearing symbols of religious practices they themselves do not, they themselves know nothing about, nor do they practice. Thoughts? So, um, this isn't something that I have really uh, seen or observed in, in my community or my, you know, physical community or something that I really found much of online um, when, I, when I searched around. I did find some stuff but those usually were things that overlapped with other groups that use some of the symbols. For instance, the, um, some of the, the, the pentacles and pentagrams and that sort of thing that a lot of people who are in metal use. I did find some of those. Um, and there's a little bit, in my city, we're kind of known to be something of, you'll actually hear us referred to as a New Age Mecca. Um, and so I do see people walking around wearing symbols that I kind of suspect that maybe they don't really know too much about. Uh, specifically Om, um, or uh, you know Hindu gods. I see that a lot. There's a lot of, like people wear Gamesh a lot, um, and I don't know. There's some shops that have things like that, but I haven't really seen it with. I haven't really seen the. Um, triple goddess sign, or um, the or mini goddess symbols. I don't. Other than the the metal people having pentagrams, I haven't really seen that. I'm trying to think of other spirals, triple spirals. The um, what's that called? You, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I haven't really seen that a lot. So. But, you know, for this, let's, let's pretend like I had. Because um, I'm sure if this is probably happening in the community of the person who wrote this in. Um, there's a chance, though, it might be a very small thing. It might be inter small in terms of uh, location. I suspect that there might be some shock value things involved with that. Um, very similar when we talked about the Kesha music video. Um, but. Do I have a problem with people wearing religious symbols that aren't theirs? Not really. Um, I don't really claim ownership over any symbols. I think that symbols have the potential of meaning many different things to different people. When they're wearing it as decoration, then it's decoration. Um, when they're wearing it to mean something very specific, then for them I think it means something very specific. But at the same time, symbols are a way that we communicate, and sometimes we can misrepresent ourselves, um, or people can interpret different things from the symbols that they see us wearing than we intend to communicate. Uh, for instance, I have on my back a very large um, Celtic cross tattooed, and I don't usually wear the type of clothes that you can see that, but sometimes when people can, they assume that I'm a Christian. Even though the Celtic cross um, is not exclusively a Christian symbol. The only other time that I've really had a, something like that happen to me, um, okay, you 
guys have probably actually seen me wear this before, but my little pentacle. Um, somebody noticed that I was wearing it, and instead of assuming that it was a religious thing, they thought it was because I liked the Harry Dresden books, the Dresden Files, and they thought I was trying to be like Dresden by wearing it, and I had to tell them no, that it, it's actually has some deep meaning to me. It isn't because a book character has it and has a different meaning. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess there isn't really nothing too deep this week, really, other than I haven't observed that. Um, and that I don't have a serious problem with it, unless they're doing it in order to be offensive. And I, my guess is that they're doing it to for the shock value, or because it's pretty, there's a lot of really beautiful symbols, or they just don't know, you know, um, but I don't, I don't own those symbols, they don't belong to me, and I'm not really worried how other people are using them, because at this point it doesn't really seem like it's damaging anybody, I don't know, um, what do you guys think? So let us know, and see you next week.